In this video, I wanted to show you one of my favorite new toys that I bought recently to help with breaking down aluminum scraps and cutting off the sprues, and how I made it even better. This is a Milwaukee portable bandsaw, and it is more useful than I could have ever hoped. In fact, it has me looking at my hacksaw in a whole new way. Hmm, see all that nice aluminum? Anyway, I had also been considering getting a metal bandsaw, but I realized pretty quickly that purpose-built metal bandsaws are extremely pricey. After a bit of research, I found out that many people had converted their porta band into a fixed tabletop bandsaw. I looked at a few commercial offerings and decided to make my own and incorporate features that I felt were missing from everything that was available. I just got the parts back from the powder coater, so let's put it together. For starters, I wanted a clampable edge all around the perimeter for quickly setting up jigs, etc. The top is quarter inch mild steel treated with LPS3 rust inhibitor. Here I am installing the girdle with the integrated switch and outlet. I wanted an incorporated switch to make turning the saw on and off as easy as possible. I also did not want a slider groove across the surface of the table. I could make this with a piece of bar stock and a sled if I really wanted to. Otherwise, 90% of the time it would just be in the way. These are nylock nuts and the assembly goes pretty quickly. I also wanted a triangulated base for more stability and to resist overturning. The legs reach out slightly farther than the tabletop. This increases stability and resists overturning. There are holes in the feet as I intend to mount the porta band table to a work surface eventually. I also wanted a quick release clamp to hold the saw in the table. This is the cam lock quick clamp that holds the saw in place. I wanted to be able to adjust the saw blade to be exactly 90 degrees to the work surface. Now to install the saw. And clamp it in place. And then adjust the saw for 90 degrees. Once this is adjusted, it should stay that way. I'm holding the trigger closed with a Velcro strap. The speed can be adjusted with the saw's built-in dial. Plug in the power cable, and then the saw, and flip the switch. Here you can see the saw's LED lighting the cutting surface. Next I'll make a quick fence for my new bandsaw.
I have a fairly coarse blade installed now, as I'll primarily be cutting aluminum. On to the next project. 